Hi everyone, it's the smoggy stacker of Scotland here. Hope everybody's doing well. I just want to show you my new purchase. Uh, as you know, I'm into Spitfires. So I just this arrived the other day. It looks like silver. I wish it was. It's aluminium. It's my third one I've got now. So I'm pleased about that. Uh, I got something else in the post today, which I started to think about. So I, I want to talk about it more. Is premiums. Uh, I'll rearrange these a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to have to just try and do things a bit better. Anyway. Uh, got some things delivered today, which get me thinking about premiums. Uh Obviously, you've got gold and silver. I know you've got platinum and palladium, but people don't tend to talk about them. I know when I grew up, it was always bronze, silver, gold, then platinum. But platinum seems to have gone below gold. When gold took that big jump, the pla platinum didn't, didn't jump and it stayed where it was. So gold's top dog now. So it's mainly gold, silver, and copper seems to be getting talked about a lot. So I'd include that. So where am I going with this? Well, you may have seen in other videos my one kilogram bar. It looks nice and shiny. It's obviously took a lot to get that finished. It's stamped and it's very tactile with this. And then that looks very nice. And then what came today was two half kilogram bars, which is obviously rough poured. And I just want to talk about the different premiums. I'll start with Copper Fest and go through. So I was on nights last night. I remember break, I made some thingies. So premiums. Now, this is a five kilogram copper bar, and on eBay, they're about £200. Now, when I search Google, uh, there's various prices for copper. I think depending on the, on the quality of the scrap, the heavy copper, which could be like buzz bars and things like that, that comes out of £5.30 per kilogram. Now, I know when these are produced, the, obviously the scrap has to be melted, poured, and the lovely finish, stuff like that. But what you could sort of say is that's a premium of £173. Imagine what the price increase would have to be before you were anywhere near. Now, I bought my, my little bar down there Purely because uh, of the shape. It looks like, you know, the gold bars that you see in, in all the films and stuff. And it's very tactile and shiny. And I like copper. So I bought it purely for the looks, not an investment. You know, it's the old age argument, isn't it, about the stacker and the coin collector. Uh, I'm definitely a stacker because price is always king. So there you go. With a five kilogram bar costing 200, the premium is 173 pound 50. I was amazed at this. Uh, just how anybody will stock copper with those premiums as an investment. We are talking about not, not these copper rounds. Some of these copper rounds are really nice and I can see the collectability of them. But as far as stacking for the copper content, no, it's it's you're you're on to a, a loser straight away. Now, the two bars that came today, they were half a kilo each. So obviously, I bought two to make up the kilogram, and for the two, I paid nine pound ninety nine half a kilo, using the same heavy copper five pound. The premium on each sort of uh, 
kilo is £14.78. So if I want to keep it online with this one here, I've got to tell you back. So it's £73.40 is the premium. Almost, ironically, a £100 difference. So to get it nicely polished, you're paying an extra £100 premium per 5 kilo bar. Again, I was amazed at that. So if I ever thought about stacking copper th these figures and you mind you might work it out as different but that's what i got it as so i won't be buying copper as an investment i've got my shiny bit which i, I love to keep on the desk and i've got me rough copper and really that's about as much as i want to go potentially i might buy some copper rounds because they look nice now because it's so cheap and bulky like the other problem with copper is what do you do with it? And while I was looking for these bars on eBay, I came across quite something quite funny. Uh, someone is selling a table and a half table, like a half table. So you could hide your copper bars in plain sight. You could make a table out of it. Goodness knows how much that is. And also you're going to have to reinforce the floor, I think. Uh, for me, it looks a bit tacky. So, so I think someone's just being a bit funny. I think that was about four grand for that table. And I think that was about two grand, something like that. Because when you think about it, it's half of one of those towers. Anyway, then we go into silver. Now, here in the UK, and it's probably different where you are, new silver, you have to pay 20% tax. So on a single Britannia coin, the premium from spot is £12.38. When you think at the moment, uh, spot price for silver is about £18.20. It's not far off, is it? Double, really. So again, I think being a stacker, premium is king. So uh, I have bought, actually, I did buy uh, some 2024 Britannias only because I wanted a 2024 and there wouldn't be any on the second hand market. So I had to pay full price. And according to the Atkins uh, sites, I'm run running at 20% loss on those. Uh, now, they do have the potential of, of getting that back. Because it's only 20%. Not like the 170 odd of the, the copper bar. And then. Next best. Oh. I not added this. But uh, second hand silver. In the UK. So you're buying one of these second hand. You can pick one of these second hand. For between about 23 and 25 pound. So that brings the premium all the way down. So you're only losing between six and eight pounds. So I do buy second hand and silver, and I've got loads of uh, maples and Britannias. For me, that's that's a good way to go in silver. Here in the UK, I wouldn't buy new. The only problem with second hand silver is where you're buying it from. Obviously, there's eBay, and to be honest, there's some good websites on on uh, Facebook. I've bought a couple on there. Just do your common sense checks, and only buy a small amount to test it, and then you should be safe. Now, for me, if we're just starting out, if I was to start out again, I would only buy sovereigns. Uh, He's the 2024 half sovereign. Now, I've noticed the premiums have gone down a little bit since I bought my 2024s. So I'm probably losing a little bit, but that's by the by. So to buy two half sovereigns against a full sovereign, on that I'm paying a premium of £14.68. Now, I, I know sovereigns are 22 carat and the coins are 24 
but basically I work out to like four sovereigns to the ounce, full sovereigns, and obviously eight, eight to the ounce, eight half sovereigns. So premiums are pretty good on that, apart from the half sovereigns. Those who watched my last video, I was going to buy two full sovereigns and two half sovereigns, but I wasn't happy with the premiums. So I was going to buy three full sovereigns, but by accident I bought six. If you want to go back to that video, uh, please do. So for me, uh, in joint sort of second with the is the one ounce gold. Now here in the UK, we're free from capital gains tax, which is a benefit. Of any any uh, any sort of uh, legal tender, if that's the right word. Uh, so for coinage like this, and the silver one, we don't pay. We're free from capital gains tax, which is a big bonus. And that's the same with the uh, sovereigns. If we were to buy any other, like rounds or maples or anything like that it wouldn't be classed as capital gains tax free so that's another reason why i always buy britannia's i love the design and patriotic and it's free from capital gains tax and there's no vat on gold so to buy to buy a full one ounce the premium from spot is about 51 pound which, considering you pay like 1,600, I don't think it's too bad. And if you want to divide that by four for it to get it equates to a sovereign, it's £12.74. So that could be a good deal. The only thing I don't like about the one ounce is the actual 1,600, at least with the sovereigns. You've got the choice of roughly playing 200 for a half or 400 for a full. You know, you could buy them once a week or once a month. Whereas the full one ounce is a bit more to pull out. Uh, another thing I like about the Sovereigns, and for me that makes them number one, is the the second hand Sovereign, if, if you're not worried about the dates, is almost the same price as a new one. So when you're buying them, you don't really need to go on to eBay or buy them secondhand. Uh, you can go to a dealer and that, that takes away any risk, any risk of for, uh, forgeries, any risk of any scams. Like uh, here, the 2024 one, some people don't like the copper look. So they could go for the, the older one, which is the more yellow one. But there you go. A new one is 398. And a second hand one is 394. So roughly a difference of four pounds. So like although I'm not over keen about the copper look. So why would I buy uh, a circulated old one when I can buy a brand new one? So I'm going to stick with the 2024s. So for me, if, you, if you're just a new starter, uh, you've got to start with sovereigns. Uh, they're relatively cheap to buy. You, you know, you've got the 200 ones or the 400 pound ones. You've got virtually zero risk. And if you go with somebody like Atkins, the, the postage and the insurance is already included. And the good thing about that is, if you sign into them, you can they they put it onto your account and you can track it. So you, you know you don't have to work it out, and you, and there's invoices you can print off for proof of purchase and stuff like that. I know recently the tax laws has changed in the UK. You're only allowed to make like a thousand pound on the side, so that could help you get you out of trouble with the tax man 
So just to summarise what I've said, I, I've, I've wandered and w mixed about a little bit. As you can tell, I'm still full of cold, so I'm not co fully coitus mentis. Working from the back in very much last place is the finished copper. In a five kilogram bar, you're talking a hundred and seventy pound premiums. There's no way on this God's earth are you gonna get your money back. Yes, buy it for a for a a display item or I sometimes like to hold it in my hand because you've got the smooth there and the rough there and it looks gorgeous. The copper finish on it is looks lovely. So that's the worst for me. The worst investment you can ever do is finished copper. The premium, I didn't read, people say in the videos that the premiums are high. But when you actually do the research, they're absolutely mega high. Like out of a £200 investment, 175 was premiums. How ridiculous is that? Even if you buy... Uh, I follow this electrician and he, he keeps all his wire and he and he melts them up and makes them into little bars. Uh, I presume maybe the, the, the guy I got this off is doing something similar. So I bought two two bars, but I'm still paying like ridiculous amounts of premium. Uh, I only got these to sort of show the case between the two. Right, and then in the fourth position, in the, this is all in the UK, obviously. New silver, all new silver is 20% VAT. So if you're a stacker and you're saying premium is king, basically that rules new silver out. Like I said, I did buy one or two because I wanted the 2024. The only good thing about new silver is... You're buying it from a dealer, so it's peace of mind. And like I said before, with Atkins, it does it does go in, in, in your account so you can track it, you know, how much you're losing or making. And then third place is second-hand silver. I did mention that, you know, you're probably paying for a Britannia between about 23 and £25. Pound. Uh, so you're avoiding the VAT, but depending on where you get it from, there is an element of risk. So you really have to do your homework. Don't put a big order in at first. Just buy one or two, check them out, check check the coins out. Uh, if it's sort of... Uh, the last lot I bought was on a Facebook page, and I followed him for a while, and he seemed pretty genuine, and... Uh, offered a va varied, you know, that's where I bought my bullets from and my uh, my lion heads from. So I followed him for a while. I put a small order in, it all checked out. So I've been buying quite a few of him. So try and get yourself a good supplier of second hand. When I first started out, I got one from uh, Glasgow, which is about 20 minutes away. So I bought some maples and some bars these bars that are in, just in shot here i bought the bars from him so like you say there's an element risk of buying second hand silver get yourself a magnet as well now i've put in joint place half sovereigns and gold sovereigns that's purely basically the premiums against a full sovereign like I say, it's a bit harder to judge because you've got sovereigns as 22 carat and the Britannia's as 24. So that's why they're in second. And I think the best value and the one I'm going to buy the most is the full gold sovereign. Whether that is a brand new 2024 one, which is the cop copper looking ones. Uh, where are they, where are they, where are they? I can't really see. You roughly can see on, vid on the video there. There's there's the older ones there, and the three there, and then those are the copper ones. 
Uh, some, like I say, some people don't like them. Uh, for me, it's purely an investment, so I'll stick with the 2024. Whether you buy second hand now, because the bullion dealers second hand sovereign prices are very close to the new ones, so that shows that you're not going to lose much money if you had to sell them quickly. And when you look on the likes of eBay, because the seller has to do with fees and that. They're very much the same price, so you're not saving any money by buying them on eBay and stuff with all the risks that involves, you know, scams and stuff. So the big attraction of gold sovereigns is you can buy them from the dealers. Uh, like I say, I choose Atkins. Uh, I've got no, no, no ties with Atkins at all. I'm only a small channel, so I don't get any sponsorship or anything. I just like everything about them. Good service, the postage is included, and then if you buy through your own account, it's all logged, so you can track, you can track how it's doing. For me, that's a, a big, a big incentive. So that's it. That's just I just wanted to uh, sort of do this video because it was sparked off by buying these bars here, and it was just a sort of complement this bar here but it was a hell of a shock the premiums like this is only a one kilo bar but in a five kilo bar of 200 pound 175 pounds is premium so if you're buying it for investment you've made a very very bad mood again if you're getting it for free yeah, I think 365 got some for free and he bought some as well. But uh, they are lovely to look at. Out of all the bars, like compare that with like the silver bar. I know I'm not, I'm not comparing exactly the same, but they just look lovely. But you're going to make more money with this than you are with that by a long way, premium wise. So there you go. I've muffled on a lot. I'll uh, show you the last look of my new Spitfire. Shame it wasn't silver, but uh, I think that would be quite a, a pricey item. It's still quite heavy with the aluminium. Uh, it's bigger than the other one there. They painted one, and then somebody asked me about that one. I don't know if they thought it was gold or not. I did say in the video it was brass, but, yeah, again, I wish that was gold. I think I'd be retired if that was gold. So there you go. Uh, that's all I've got to say now. Uh, back to work tomorrow. Still got the man flu. I hope you're all keeping well. We're halfway through the month. Uh, I had a quick look at today's prices and they're slightly up. No great jumps, but at least, at least in the positive rather than the negative of the day. I don't know if on Monday they go up. I've not followed that pattern. And then by the end of the week, they're back down, they're back down again. I don't follow them that much because I'm not interested in short-term prices. Maybe when I'm buying. So that's it. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.